Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Y'all better be ready, man. A lot of niggas want the fame. I want the fame, yeah. But I just want to get paid. Get paid, yeah. Major Key Podcast Season 2, Episode 18, man. We black here. Like I said, back in the building. This week, we got Joey Fresh, Joey Cuts, and we got Moonside in the building, man. That's what we do. Yes, Another sir. week, man. We blessed. Blessed to be here. It's Friday, man. But we got Joey Cuts in the building. That's the homie. In the building, you get to hear me. You, you hear about me on the radio. You know, lately you've been hearing about me, so you know, Fact. finally get to see a face to to what you hear. You know what I mean? Independent business in here. You know what I mean? JoeyCuts.Booksy.com. You know what I mean? You can book anytime. Like I said, you 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 book for this Saturday. You hear us in the in the radio today. You just put in the comment below, and you get ten dollars on the next haircut. That's love, right there, you know man. Me, just because you listen to this radio show right now. Facts, man. That's the Boarding Pass Morning Show every Monday through Friday, every nine, every day, nine o'clock in the morning, man. We For turn sure. up, man. You've been supporting me since day one, since, since I started this whole company, bro. You've been there, sure. man. We known each other for a long time, and you always been one of those dudes that support, man. So, and as he said, he has a business, he cuts hair, he does other things too, man. This dude gets sure. money. That's what he does, man. He has, he has, you know, he has mortgage, he has a wife, yes, he, <laughs> he has a family to take care of. So, Joey Fresh cuts in the building with us this week, man. Love, man. It's, and it's been a long time in the making, but we finally made it happen, man. And what we do on Major Key Podcast, we don't only just have artists up here, man. It's not just artists. It's not just people that, you know, that are in the industry. You know, well, you're in the industry, I would say, in some way, because, you know, people like me, I need haircuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, I, I, you know, I cut a, a lot of a lot of type of people, you so, Facts. you know, it comes around. Joey Cuts. You heard that? Joey Cuts. Yeah. It's in the building. No, that's a VIP barber, you know what I'm saying? VIP barber. barber. It's and supposed, supposed to, stay, it's supposed supposed to, to be private, but you, you gotta really know me. And you know how to holler, you know what I mean? You good. Like, what'd you say, Monta? What'd you say? I said, it's Joey Cut in the building. <laughs> if you know how to holler, you good. <laughs> Listen, Joey, how long you been doing this? How long you been cutting hair? Man, I've been cutting hair for about 22 years, honestly. Damn! I started cutting hair, but you know, like officially, officially being like a really nice barber, you know, it's, it's been about 15 plus years. Right, right. Damn, that's a long time, bro. That's a long time. Yeah. Like, what made you get into it, man? What made you get into cutting hair? Bro, I'm going to tell you the truth, you know. Born and raised in Jersey City. Lived out here for a few years. I had a few barbers that chipped me up, man. I like my beard to be a certain Homie! Way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like my beard to be a certain way, bro. And, 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 and I had barbers that couldn't keep up with my beard, bro. And, mm. and I had a set, a set of clippers that I had from one of my friends that, you know... I started doing it myself, and people started seeing it. I was like, yo, can you give me a shape up? And I'm like, all right, all right no problem. Yeah, that's, yeah, how, yeah. That's, how, that's how basically you start. Yeah. You start with a five-hour shape up sitting there with your friends at first. Right, right. But then people start seeing your work, and people start saying, yo, why don't you go to the barbershop? Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. you know what? That's Why not? If it's a source of income, mm -hmm. you know how it is. Mm -hmm. Back back in the days, you know, we was all about trying to get that money. Get that money. We still get that money. way you could get it, right, it was, but, yeah. you know, that was another source. Right, right, so, right. So, you know, it got me to where I'm at right now. Able to have my own LLC, have my own little yeah, barbershop. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I cut a lot of people. I have cut a few artists, you know what I'm saying? So... I'm all right. Your clientele is big, though, man. There's a lot of people. Mozart's one of your clients. Yeah, he's one of my VIP clients. That's one of his VIP clients. You know what I'm saying? It's a VIP. It's a few people that get that VIP treatment. Yeah, you know, you yeah. know how it is. You Facts know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Facts out. You cut my braids. We talked about this before. We were, you cut my braids back in 2016. You mentioned it on the show. On the show, on the radio show. Yeah, go ahead. Caught my shit when I first came on, right? Definitely. You had braids too, Mozart? No, nah, when I first came on, no dollars, no braids. Yeah, yeah. He got me too. He came through. He sat on my chair. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one thing about I love about you, Joel. You always support and you always look out. You look out for the cookout. You know, yeah. people like you is the people I keep around me, man, because we can't find that anymore. You know, it's hard to find people like Moonside, people like you, genuine people that care about you and don't have no interest, no interest. You know, if you ain't know, yeah, I speak Spanish too, but if you, they don't have no interest into in gaining anything off of you that that's not loyalty or regular shit, man. Like what we doing? There's a lot of people that are out the game too much out of you, man. And as I said earlier on the morning show, the morning pass morning show, like I said, every morning, Monday, Monday through Friday, it starts at 9 o'clock, you know, I talked about pretty much cutting the people off or not supporting, like, like that back support, yep. you support me, I support you, yep. some people take what you gave them and then run with it and don't got your back at all, most of that's, that's not cool, like what we doing, man, so, yeah, but another thing people need to understand, just, just, you don't have to be right next to you the whole time to be able to support Right, you understand that support is 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 just making sure it's being there when needed. 
Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people mistake that by, oh, I have to be right next to you the whole time. Nah, nah. Right. Just support me. You can support me from far away. Just make exactly. sure you support me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I shouldn't have to ask you or, or beg you to support me if you're my man. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, Joel, going back to you, man, you grew up in Jer uh, Jersey City. That yeah, was your yeah, stopping born, ground. Born and raised. Born and raised in Jersey City. I lived, I lived out there most of my life. I moved out here, um, you know, even though I did high school out here as well, but. Right. Went to high school out here for a few years, and then I went back to Jersey City to finish high school. Okay. And finish college. I did college and everything out there. Okay. What you so, uh, what you major in or what you minor in college? What I had to have a computer network degree. Okay. You know what I mean, and, and you didn't end up using it, did you? Nah. The only time I used it is when I first moved out here, man. I, I was a cable guy. You know what I mean? I was. A <laughs> you was a cable guy, guy like, like, like I, was, I was a cable guy. You know, installing cable all over Atlantic City, Pleasantville. Yo, were you like Jim Carrey? Remember that movie? <laughs> you know, I was a cable hey, guy. Yeah, but you know, it, I, that, that's the only time I really used that degree. It, it, it really wasn't, it, it, it didn't really work out for me, brother. So, you know, you sometimes. You can still use it, though. Yeah, but you got, when it comes to that type of degree, you got to update yourself every certain year. Oh, uh, certain and certifications every, you yeah, got to keep. Yeah, okay, got it. And, and it's like, and it's crazy. So, after that, I, I decided to start driving trucks, bro. You remember? Yeah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been driving trucks since 2004. Four? Yo, you wanted a, you wanted a, um the, the uh, out of the whole camp the closest people to me were the first people to have their CDL. Yeah. I remember back then you used yeah. to tell me, yo, get your CDL, get your CDL, get your CDL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I finally got it. I listened yeah. to you. I finally got it. You know, I got it, but I got it way after you did. So yeah, go ahead, keep going. But, but um, that's how it. That's how I did. I started driving trucks, and you know, that's as a truck driver, you know how it is. It's, 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 it's good money here and there. So now it's good money, period. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, money. it's good money. So you know that's why I've been doing it for so long. <laughs> that's yeah. why they, they tell me, oh, why don't you open up a full barbershop and have a, have people work for you? I would like to do that, but bro, in this in this in this industry, a lot of a lot of barbers out there have 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 type of you know issues and, yeah, and things that you can't really put your whole responsibility on somebody else. Because right. They're not gonna take care of your establishment the way you would. Right. So it's kind of hard to find somebody loyal to you in yeah. that and and in, in that aspect. It can make you lose your license big time, that, yeah. bro. So it's like I don't want to risk any any investment. You know what I mean? Yes. I, like I like I told you before, I, I mentioned it on the on the, on the radio show. On the radio show. You know what I'm saying? That you gotta make sure your investment come back. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that investment come when it comes back. Right. Whether you have to double it up to make sure that investment keeps coming back, and right. you get to put some of that investment back. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? That was a great point you brought up. You sent it over to the text board. Yeah. 609, 609, 418, 9816, Top Class Radio, man. You can send your comments, text your comments into the radio station at any time, and we'll get to you. And you do that, you know, you, you see, uh, you brought up a point of investing, of using that initial investment and keep putting money back into your company. A lot of people don't understand that. It's gonna take a lot of money and gonna take a lot of time for you to get where you wanna be, you know? A lot of businesses, they flop. In the first year, bro. Yeah. The first year they closed their doors. You know, we're fortunate enough on this side on PNG LLC. We've been in business. Legit, I've been doing this since 2013, you know, but uh, legit is coming up on three years of April. We're going to have a big party too, bro. Oh, for, yeah, the, yeah. for the annual party. What? Yeah. It's going to be official, bro. Yeah. And right around my birthday, we're going to do a, a showcase I guess for the bring artists. Wife, I mean, we bring everybody, man. We're going to have a legit party, yeah. man. Yeah. So, um, but, um, you know, we're fortunate enough on this side and I got good people around me. We haven't flopped. We keep. We actually kept growing, opening exactly. up more businesses, you exactly. know, and things like that. But to your point, I kept investing in this business, you know. And and, and initially, you take a hit on certain things. You, you put a lot of money in, and you. A lot of people get discouraged. I think they're like, "Damn, man, I'm not making the money that I thought that I would make it back." But as long as you make it bread, and yeah, but you you might not see that right off the bat because people right. gotta understand it's all about being patient. Yes. You know what I'm saying is is having that patience to be able to sit there. And, and work for what you for what you want, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? At the at the end of the day, at the end of the that 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 run, you're gonna be able to look back and be like, damn, I, that's what I did. I did right. all of that. You know right. what I'm saying? I did all of that. So so it's it's always worth it at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Facts, man. So look to that and yeah. keep doing that, man. Because being a barber's hard. Yeah. And, and as I said earlier, you have multiple hustles. You have multiple things to do, and that's one thing you do. So, and if, like we said earlier, man, if you haven't checked it out, go on the Top Class Radio app. We have uh, the link to Joey Cuts dot book, Booksy 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 Booksy. Booksy. <laughs> There's a K in there though. Yeah, book 
C. Z, okay, okay. <laughs> dot com. But the link is right there on Top Class. Com. On the Top Class radio app, it's right there. You can put, you know, you can click, you can book your appointment. And But to the point that I was going to say is, you know, you keep that afloat. You yeah. keep it going, knowing that this is one of your establishments. You can't put your clients off, you know, and it's a hard thing. As a barber, it's real hard to engage, to get people to come to you. There's so many barber shops out there, so many barbers out there that is, I know it's hard. It's hard, man. It's hard for a barber. The, 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 the hard part, most of it, too, is, is that understand have, trying to have your clients understand how important your time is you know what I'm saying so your time is important and especially me you know I I, 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 I drive the trucks mm-hmm. come home I try to get to this haircut but people need to understand I also got a family I yes. got a wife to take care of I got a kid to take care of so you know sometimes it's, 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 it's hard but right. you know I see it as like I, I make that extra effort because I'm, I want to make sure that whatever income I'm having from my major source right it's not being touched for whatever needs I have. Whatever needs I have, that I like, I like to, you know, I like to have fun. I like to do motorcycle. Yeah, one. You know, we you know, ride bikes, baby. Like, you know, we, what like, we do. We like to ride fast a little bit. We take flight. Like a little bit. bit. Hey. We was here like a buck fifty on the way, <laughs> bro. We was yeah. ripping yeah. on the way up the path. Where we go? We, we didn't even, yeah. bro. Yeah. We just kept going. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. we went and got got something to eat, yeah. man. That was a couple years. ago. That was love, man. But go ahead, my bad. Cut you off. You know, it, it's it's. It's hard sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But you got to do what you got to do to be able to to enjoy the things you like to do. Right. And, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm thankful for the clients that I have because they've been able to be loyal to me and come back to me. You know what I'm saying? Yes. There's a lot of options, bro. Yes. Especially out here in Pleasantville, there's a lot of options. A lot of great barbers. There's a lot of great barbershops. There's a, nice, right. there's a lot of nice barbershops out there. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 and for the clients to still come back to me, that's a blessing, bro. And I, and I, if, you know, if they're hearing me right now, I appreciate every every single one of y'all. Yeah. Because it's because of y'all that I'm able to do what I'm able to do. Your clients. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so also, your, 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 uh, the people you get your products from. You know, you want to shout them out, give them a shout out to people you, you know you get your, your your barber products from. Well, yeah, yeah. That's um, um, barberplugsoutlet.com. Um, those are my peoples right there. That's, okay. that's exactly uh, thank, Thanks for reminding me. Oh, man, I'm going to slip my mind. It is my first time being yeah, on I got you. I got you back. Barber right, Plugs, BarberPlugsOutlet.com. They're right. the ones that, that whenever I need any supply, I go to straight BarberPlugsOutlet.com. Yo, I, I placed the order. Thank God they local. They're a local company here. Yeah. It's, um, my friend Maurice, he's the one that run it. And my, also my, my good friend Fredo that I used to hang out with all the time. Shout to Fredo, yeah, man. So, you know, he's, a, he's another good barber that I want to make yeah. sure, you know, since I mentioned his name, I want to, I don't want to leave him hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, they basically opened up this business and they've been, they've been doing good. So, you know me, I like to support local before I, I do anything else. Yes. I've been doing that since, you know, you met me for yeah, years ago. I know you for a long time. So I, if I can support locally before I can support the major companies, I'm going to do that. Yeah. And when I come to Maurice, shout out to Maurice and BarberPlugsOutlet.com. Right. You know, they supply me with whatever I need, brother. So That's what's I'm, up, man. I'm thankful for that. That's what's up, man. Mm-hmm. So has, has your um, um That's what they do, do. That's what they supply you. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. Everything you get. Or that, that, so that Joe and all that. Joey, yep. Joey cuts tomorrow. You're going to get spiffy like this. I'm say. in Toyota life. I'm in Toyota life. <laughs> Don't knock your microphone down. Tomorrow, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in Toyota life. Tomorrow. Toyota life. Yeah. No, 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 no. Tomorrow, 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 I need detail. Yeah, you got to Range Rover face look. Range Rover, there you go. Range Rover. Let's Range Rover. Let's get tell the face. You got to make sure. That you book at joeycuts.booksy.com. I'm already there on the muscle. Oh, I'm right. a muscle. I'm already there on the muscle. I forgot you'd be out there. I'm already there on the muscle. 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 I'm or whatever they make sure they hit me yo Joey I'm in town yeah can you can you can you hook me up right you know what I'm saying and and, and, and I'm gonna tell you the truth those are the, the clients that that basically appreciate my time because they right. went to pay because they come on the days that maybe I'm not cutting because I'm driving trucks I get home at a certain time right right but they those are the clients that are willing to be like yo here it is here's yeah, a little bit on top yeah, mind you yeah. I don't ask for much when it comes to cutting hair right. my price is my price right. I expect to get paid for that Absolutely. whatever they want to pay on top of that that's on them you know I don't yeah. I don't. if you want to tip me that's cool I, I would appreciate that yeah 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 but 
when my price is set, don't 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 try to negotiate your price. <laughs> what are we doing? You know what, I mean? what are we doing? Yo, I brought that up before, right? You know, Listen, how, you yeah. know how it is, because support ain't real support. Yo, you just gotta support them. The you facts. Yeah, you yeah. yeah, yeah. support them. Yeah. It's like job support. Yeah, so like, what are we like, doing? It's like, yo, I brought this point up before, man. It, it seems like people always want a discount when it comes to people that you know. Yeah. What are we yeah. doing, bro? I have a business. This is how I eat. Why are we asking for it? You don't go to McDonald's. You don't go to McDonald's, right? They ask you, how much is a burger? The, the average burger is a dollar. A dollar. You can't walk dollar. out of McDonald's without giving them that dollar, bro. Yeah. And that's a corporation. That's a big business. So if I'm with an established business, why are you asking me for a discount? Bro, if that big multi-millionaire business Damn. can't afford to give you a dollar cut, what makes you think that my company, that's not even a thousand air? I'm not even a thousand air when it comes to the company. Right. It? How you going to try to expect me to give you a hookup like that? Don't get me wrong. I'm the type of bar. If you're my you client, lie. yeah, 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 bro. Once I, you, 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 my witness. If you're one of my clients and you in a tight situation, when I first, when I first started cutting Mosa, bro, I wasn't asking him for no money. Okay, because that's love. What it is. That's love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I knew him from before. When, when before he went in, I knew about. I knew, I knew who Mosa was because you yeah. know back in the streets, you know how it is. You get to know certain type of people, right? And and, and you connect. And when he was in a situation, I used to cut a few people with it. I always tell my lawyer clients, yo, look, if you're ever in a tight situation, bro, don't hesitate to call me. But they got to let you know first. Yeah. yeah. Don't come in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't come in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get cut. Like, yo, yo my bad. Like, 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 Yo, like yeah, I said, I don't want to throw a dagger on there. But the nigga, listen, that's a legit you know, dagger. What you say, like, at, like I said, at that time, at that time, I just just had came home. Yeah. I'm in the program. You gotta do 12 steps. I had a couple yeah. dollars. I had a couple dollars. I had a couple dollars, <laughs> but he was right next to right the program. Yeah. I opened up that barbershop. I wasn't one of they the They told me a little pilot. They used to get mad. And the people in there were like, you got to complete these 12 steps. If you can finish them fast, then you're good. Me, I try to beat the thoughts. You could do two to three a day. <laughs> <laughs> Bang in three. Bang in three. Yeah. And he got like, two, three. <laughs> and before you know your nigga Monsa was out of it. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the, the, you know, the step of the program. Right. Everybody was like, oh, boy, how you in here? I said, I'm like, at, at times, I was like, yo, I got to stay here after, after the program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I knew in my head, this is not me. Yeah. You know what I mean? The step of the program. And get myself involved where I beat the whole situation. Right. The whole steps. Um... <laughs> Faster than you're supposed to. Yeah. Hell yeah, I was like, I ain't had, I ain't had nothing better to do. You just came home, nigga. Get your mo- get you, get your ass in your homework. <laughs> that was your homework, most time. Homework, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> homework. Yeah, I go in there, the lady was like, yeah, the, the, you know what I mean, the crew. And then she kept telling me, she was like, you keep doing how you doing. I gave her a little couple more groups. And by the time I finished, everybody outside. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out and bless the homies and the real G's from the street that came out here with me. And I'm talking about they the time. Yeah, yeah. And some of them wasn't with me, but we was there at the time. Word. And they tell me, Poppy, how you beat that shit? I ain't beat that shit. <laughs> I did that shit. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Damn. <laughs> Yo, nah, you got to be on the podcast. You can talk whatever the fuck you want to talk about. Okay? You know, radio is different, but we on the podcast. Now we go, we go. So, um, I want to shout out LaDama O. She brought up LaDama O. Shots on LaDama O. You can follow on Instagram just like that. Executive manager for PMG LLC, also producer yes. you know, for a lot of shows that we got going on. She brought up a point, man. She held up a sign and said, uh, COVID, has it impacted your uh, barbary in any sense? Uh, you know? Yo, I'm going to tell you the truth, man. COVID, it, you know, it, it, they need to understand. In the barber world, at least the way I cut hair, the way yeah. I treat my, my, my clippers, my, my, you know, those are my tools. That's what makes me money. Mm-hmm. I sanitize as much as I can. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I make sure that my clippers ain't gonna get you no bumps, ain't gonna get you anything like that. So during that time, right. it just made me do more because I was it was crazy to say it was crazy to say it because I was getting more clientele. During COVID? Yo. I was wow. getting oh, yeah, a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind you, there was a few barbers that was that was that was out there. Asking clients for forty dollars, no, fifty dollars, no. bro. That's More? that's nothing, bro. Eighty-five to hundred. Hold on, eighty-five to hundred dollars to 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 cut their hair. Wow. And mind you, I'm you know I'm 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 
I get income in all types of ways. You right, know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we get money on this side, nigga. What we doing, man? What we doing? So it's like I, I feel as though a haircut. Don't get me wrong. The situation that's going on was tough, you know, because right. COVID, you know, yeah. they. they I feel a certain type of way about that whole situation, but COVID is is, is real. To me, it was no, a, it's a, definitely real. It was a new form of flu. Yeah. But you know they call it COVID, so I guess that's what we're gonna call it. What is the type of flu? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but you know, if I was able to clean my clippers more. I was able to sanitize my my my, my little barber shop more than anything. Yeah. So. I kept it clean for the clients, and I and I tried during that whole situation where they were doing the mats and to the, the the social distancing. I was yeah. telling clients that when they pull up, if they see a, a vehicle outside, stay there until the vehicle leaves. So like that is not, even though I have enough space, right? But it's not. I don't want them, I don't want them to feel uncomfortable. Right. The whole shop, you know how it is. The yeah. way I have my, my my shop set up is. It's, it's a just shop though. It's for a client to feel comfortable. Right. right? Whatever yeah. it is. That's yeah, you got the benches, you got yeah. the you got the sodas in there. Yeah. You know, yeah. Whatever you need. You it's know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so it's like I tell them, it's it's mostly for you to be comfortable in my establishment. So so I try to make it as much comfortable as I can. So during that time I was telling the customer stay outside until you see the guy leave. Once you see the next person leave, come walk right in. Right. And so all you this is all your time. And you know, I work every every half hour increments. So it's yeah. every half hour, one walks in, one walks out, I'm able to be gifted enough to be able to do a haircut in like thirty minutes. Yeah, you're you a beast with that. I'm yeah. not taking a whole hour to yeah. do a haircut. Some people do. Haircut. What the fuck? Why? I don't know. I think doing I, I, extra shit, throwing extra power on you, extra shit. Like what the I, fuck? I, the only way I can think of it is that it's like they they just taking their sweet ass time because they want to wait until somebody else walks in. Oh, okay. To that makes sure sense. to make sure that when this client gets up from the chair. Instead of me sitting around slouching around, I could just get up from the guy could get up from the chair and I can say, yo, next. Yeah. Cool. But people That's got shit to do. Think of. People got shit but, to do, bro. And be sitting in the chair for a whole hour with a cut. Like, what the fuck? Some barbers don't care about your time. Yeah, that's just not like, cool. don't, don't get me wrong. Just like some clients don't care so, about the okay, barbers. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. You know what I'm saying? That's a preferred sample, but what about if you already got them in there and they came in expecting for it? But you they mean? don't get it. How you gonna handle that pressure? What? Expect what? Expect them to get what? The cut. On the day that I lock her hair? Let's say for an example. But the thing about it is he has a, you gotta schedule it, you gotta book it. You gotta times. schedule it, boy. He so he knows it. who's coming in. He's so he gonna... might he might he might have slide one. Okay. But one of them that messed up in the schedule, they popped in. What's heading for him? Um, they gotta respect the client that's in front of them's time. Like I said, it's unless he's a VIP, it's right? a VIP, okay. it's a VIP type of thing. Like I, if you notice on my book, see, I don't have my address on there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right, because right, right. I want to know who who who's coming to my establishment. Because like I said, my it, I don't, I don't, it's not a it's not a door front. It's not a you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not a place where, where commercialized. It's, it's not yeah. a commercial place. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's independent. Yeah. So yeah. I'm able to do it at the place where I'm doing it. So. You know, in order for you to come to me, you gotta first of all know where I live right. and know me personally. Right. If right. I didn't extend the 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 the, the, the welcoming the hand, like I'm doing right now, like you know, yeah. broadcasting it now because I, I believe in this in the show. I believe yeah, in what I appreciate you're doing you. And I, I appreciate and, you, bro. And I support you to the max. Yeah, so you do. The best way I can do it. I mean, you know what? I'm a, the only way I want people to come here is whoever supporting my family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you're not supporting, then you know. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, salute to that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, how your Giants doing, by the way, man? Uh, I've been watching much football. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about the Giants too much. Why not? Oh, they, they're not doing that good? Uh, not not, not really. I, I stepped away, bro, because, you know, I'm, I'm a Giants fan and everything. Keep but, that but, um... I kind of stepped away from football because my Knicks is doing good. Okay, okay. So, so the basketball is doing better than football. Yeah. So That's kind of yeah. different because yeah. the Giants are usually doing yeah. high and then the Knicks are... So my, my yeah. Team, uh, you know... But I'm, sometimes I'll be too busy to be able to watch a game. Because yeah. the time that I get to be able to sit down and chill, that's the time I got to give to my wife. And the kids, you, you know, know you got kids so, too, man. Everybody doing the family's good? Yeah, everybody's good. Thank that's God. Good. That's you know good, man. man. I got, I got a, a, a supporting wife that, that helps me when I need. You know what I mean? What's that you held up on La Dama O? That last sign you held up. What's the most challenging aspect about being a barber? Shouts to La Dama O in the back. Challenging. Um, the most challenging aspect of being a barber to me is being able to keep up. You know what okay. I'm saying? Keep up with, with who? With clients with, or other barbers? With, with, with the style. Oh, styles? Of okay. the, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Now, the, with the way that people grow in the The little heart that everybody has with the Drake heart and all that. Oh, that, that, that Drake heart, is, it, 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 it's, it's kind of easy for me to do. Okay. So it, stuff like that is yeah, not really yeah, a problem. Yeah. But it, I'm not, mind you, I'm not trying to say I'm the biggest designer. 
and, and, and it's world, an art. World. Yeah, you you got to be really good at yeah. that. And, and it's like tattooing for your head. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm decent with the design, but I'm not like a master. You got to keep on that. Yeah, it's yeah. a progress. Yeah, 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 keep on 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 like the challenging part, like I said, is, is making sure I'm able to keep up with, with, with the new style that's coming up. Right. That's why on my Instagram, on the Joey Fresh Cuts um, Instagram, yeah. um, I follow a lot of barbers. Okay. Like new industry barbers, cause right. they they put a lot of their haircuts on me. It's hard for me to try to put up a haircut because I have every half an hour one guy comes up. Yes, yes. Guy, I don't have time to. Sit I will tell you though, you got it. What you got to do is my bad for cutting you off. Set a day for marketing. And if you need help yeah. with that, I can help you with that. Yeah. Just send me some pictures and I can upload them to your Instagram. We'll work on that. Because marketing is key. Yeah, you know, you know what you think about that? Yeah, I set up one day that I have for my marketing only. You yeah. know, where I market, I got like six pages that I market on the Instagram, you know. Yeah. Top Class Radio, Major yeah. E Podcast, The yeah. Boarding Pass Morning Show, you know, 317 Marketing and Media. And I also have my own page that I, that's five. That yeah. I, that I, um, and I also have The Flight Zone, you know. Yep. That show's on Rough Riders Radio. We were under contract doing it. Fly you know? levels. <laughs> fly levels. We take flight levels. Like mad style. That's what we do. That show's coming back. Music on. life. Top Class Radio. But marketing, you need a whole day for that. Because that takes a lot of your time. But go ahead. What you was going to say? Yo, remember remember when we were talking and, 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 and when everything was going on, you know, because you've been doing this for a while. And I remember you saying, and I remember me telling you, yo, you keep saying, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yo, why don't, why don't you... Um, Hashtag it. Yeah, hashtag that and make it you trademark yours, bro. I did. <laughs> I did, my nigga. What are we doing? Yeah, I was like, yo, that thing That's the homie. Bro. You was the one. Yeah, yeah you brought it up. Like, you were the one that told me that. Thing, that thing hits, bro. When yeah. You, you got to listen to it. And yo, everybody got to tune in on the morning show, man. I really, like I said, I'm a truck driver during the day. So when I'm driving the trucks, I'm tuned in 9 o'clock. As soon as it hits 9 o'clock, I'm tuned in. Yeah, man. You gotta listen. The energy on these radio shows, even on the on the Tuesday shows, and every every show that when this man is talking behind this mic, it's straight energy. I appreciate straight that, energy. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and the thing about it is, I have a, a thing where I, I I try to take care of the public. Yeah. You know, and I know pe some people are down. You know, and the music that I play on is different from uh, To the Top Tuesdays. That's another show that I have starting at uh, 8 p.m. every Tuesday. You know, right here on Top Class Radio. If you're listening on the app. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate everybody that uh, Joey Cuts sent over to download the app so they can listen to him tonight on this interview. Now that you have the app, you know, you, you listen forever. And the, and the music that we play continuous on that 24-hour music is internet radio. So you you hear it in, around the whole world. Most of, so it's 24-hour music, but we have selected shows that we have on. La Dama O has a show starting this Sunday, 7, uh, 6 p.m. Don't don't miss that. Who could have movement? Shouts to who could have movement. You can follow him on Instagram just like that. He has a show on Thursdays, the Latin movement. That's official. Yeah. Completely different, bro. Yeah. Playing Latin music on their facts. And then um um Living La Vida Keto podcast that comes on every Monday, uh, starting at 7 p.m. And we got another, a couple more shows coming, bro. And we also have, starting next week, we're going to have the nightly slow jams. Got have you in your bag, bro. Have you in your bag. Like, remember the Golden Girl used to do on Friday Night Nine? Like, damn, man, shouts to the Golden Girl. But, you know, we're going to have the nightly jams on there. Go ahead. And, and you can check me out, your boy Mosa. I post music and I advertise music and I show love to the brothers. Facts. And... I real facts in life, I was born with music, I didn't say it last time, but at the end of the day, I love to do good things with music. Mm -hmm. Most on Facebook just like that, most on, everybody shout your Instagram out. Yo, my Instagram, joeycuts.booksy.com. That's your Instagram? No, oh, sorry, that's my booksy, that's where you can be able to book your haircut appointment, sorry. My Instagram is joeyfreshcuts. On, on Instagram. You can find me there anytime. And also, remember, the, the people that I get my supplies from, barberplugsoutlet.com. Facts, man. And as I said, if you're listening on the app right now, you can actually book your appointment right there on the app. Yeah. On the homepage, you know, homie has his own, his own slot right there. That's how we do that, man. He supports me. I support him. Any other businesses out there? And I, and I got like 10 people for you already. For yeah. And yo, and that's $10 off. We'll you by. mentioned the fact that you listen to this show, you listen to the morning show, anything that you listen on this platforms that is on top class radio right here. In fact, any thing is ten dollars off on the next haircut. Damn, that's that's love, man. That's salute to that, man. You got it, bro. I, I want to bring up a topic real quick. I want to get your perspective because this has been going on since last week. The Astro World, oh, you know, yeah, with yeah. With, uh, with Travis Scott, man. And I've been talking about it on the morning show, the Boarding Pass Morning Show, every uh, Monday through Friday, every morning at nine a.m. You know how we lost some people, and you just informed me today that the ninth a ninth person passed away. Yes. You know, this if nobody has heard about it, which I'm pretty sure everybody has heard about it by now. You know, Travis Scott had a concert that he. Had 
has every year called Ask Your World. And this year was completely different, man. This year, yeah. you know, it was trampling. It was people getting killed. A lot, hundreds of people injured. You know, it was a lot that went on during this concert. And I, I brought it up again. I was it was an update this morning because now they're petitioning for him not to perform at Coachella. They're up to thirty five thousand. Yeah, yeah, man, thirty five thousand people signed this petition. They don't want him performing at other concerts. They took him off the Vegas concert, the yeah. day of Vegas concert. They took him off of that. And and this is taking a hit on his career because a lot of artists they make money, most of their money they from, make it from the tour, from the touring yeah. and the performances. Yeah. You know, so give me your perspective, starting with you, Joel. What do you think about this whole situation that happened at Astro World, and where do you think it's gonna go from here? Bro, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I don't. And my, my, the way I feel about it, I don't think I don't think he's liable for any of that, bro. Because, okay. You know, he paid for the security team or for the whatever whatever venue that he he he, he renting or whatever. He paid for that for for that for that specific service. Right. So he shouldn't be liable for any of that. So the lawsuit that's coming in, and, and I heard Drake is trying to get hit with lawsuits also because he they was brought, just there. They brought Drake in as a person to sue too because he was a featured artist on and, the show. Yeah, but and they said he enticed the the the, uh, the, it, it's, the, the it, people more. How, since when? Since when a, a artist can be liable for the the you know the customer's actions? Like yeah. it's crazy. Why would they be liable for that? Like all they all they there to do is to perform and make a show. You know right, right. So it's like whatever the crowd do. You pay somebody to make sure they control that. Right. So you you're just there to make a show. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah so, um, so you know it, it's 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 it's, it's bad. unfortunate. Yeah. It's unfortunate that people that died. Condolences yeah. to the family too. Of yeah. course, always. You know what I'm saying? But so you were saying the nutshell is not his fault. Nah, I don't think it's his fault at all. Okay. Where do you think it's gonna go from here, though? What do you think? What, what, you know, because now they're talking about. I seen a report early after I did the show. They they're trying to um, give him charges for it, bro. They're trying to. Oh, man, they're trying to. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. It's something that they just brought up to see if it if it, they could do. That's you know, crazy. they're trying because uh, you know a lot of people died, and they're saying that the blood is on his hands. Mm -hmm. You know, and the security they should have. Yo, I seen a video, bro, and this is after the show too. I seen a video of a um a cop. Like with his phone up, you know, filming the the whole like the show because he's part of you know security. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. the shit's going on yeah. as he's filming. See, see so, that the, those are the people that, that that they counted on and and, and look, they couldn't they the couldn't, security. They couldn't but, do their job. My nigga, listen. Compare mind you, it's, it's it's fifty thousand something people. That's what I'm saying. To the fifty thousand something people to maybe a thousand security. I think, it's and I think, and I think I don't supposed to think like that, but it's called real life. I think between all that happening. Energy and everything that's just going on between escalating. Yeah. Whoever was there with you to protect you or watch over you, supposed to overlook that. Like nothing, nothing supposed to even happen. Happen while you there. Like I don't need no escalate, no over energy. Like. Yeah. You have to look, overlook everything, even if it's my best friend. Yeah. And you be like, my nigga, right now you want some more fucking confusing energy. You about to dis Yeah, but you can't control the crowd. Most of what he's trying but to you say. You can, but you, you, you're disturbing my fucking vibe right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You yeah. with me? Yeah. But see that with his concert. You with me? My, like my, see my vibe, my vibe, my my vibe, my vibe is already dead. Your energy supposed to be Let's with say, me. Let me tell you something. Too. With me. Let me right. tell you something too. Listen. Go ahead. I'm listening. I also think. Not that for me to think. Travis Scott is a. Don't get me wrong. He's a. He's a great artist. Right. He's a great artist. But um. Um. Go ahead, keep going. Damn, I just lost the train. Travis is a, is a great artist, but... Damn, sorry, bro. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, it's So you would say most... You got it? No, go ahead. You would say most out of that, that, that... But who... To the question I was trying to ask you earlier, who would be liable? What, what, what would you think? Like, is it Travis Scott fault? Do you think or not? I don't know. On, I, I really don't know. To be honest, um, the situation at the time, at the moment, I don't know. If it's his fault, I don't know. He knows whoever around him might know, but at the end of the day, I don't know. Oh, I don't want to guess for him. <laughs> yeah. I guess for me. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I get you. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sucky situation, bro. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's unfortunate that it had to happen the way it did. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of stuff. You know, like we live in a society that they they always trying to point the finger at whatever happened. That's how I feel as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yo, yeah and like yeah. I said, I think it's a money grab too, man. Because like I said, they're bringing up, they're bringing, they implementing Drake. They put, they put a lot of people in that don't need to be in this right now. Um, 
I'm with you on this, man. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I talked about it on the show. I'm with you on the fact that I don't think. I don't think it's Travis Scott Scott's fault. What you say, Monta? We still alive. Yeah, we still. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's Travis Scott's fault. I don't. You know, his security. It, it's just like when you go out, you pay for somebody to protect you. So if something would have happened, let's say to Travis Scott. Anywhere he's at, and he paid for security. Who's fault is it? Travis Scott? No, it's a security fault. Yeah. That's what the venue has this. Now, the people I do think this live, who's Live Nation, they put this whole event on, you know? That's what I was going to say earlier. The problem, God, that's the, homie. <laughs> the problem that I think it is, too, is that Travis Scott is, it, it started bringing in that mosh pit type of crowd. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not, not you know, he, that's... He started introducing that into the hip hop world. Yeah, he did. He did. You know what I'm saying? Like he he tells the crowd to rush in. He yeah. tells the crowd, oh, everybody rush to the front. Or, you know what I'm saying? So they, that that mosh pit type of crowd, they love that type of thing. Yeah, so it's man. like they're gonna go out there and wild out, and then certain people are not gonna be with it, and and they probably f- sitting right in front, and the people that's trying to wild out, they're coming from behind. So right. they're what? That's what was happening. They're pushing everybody to the front, so whoever's not willing to do it, they're gonna stand their ground. Yeah, and that's the problem. Yeah. You stand on the ground. Guess what? They're gonna eventually push you to the ground. Right. That's yeah. what was happening. There was a lot of people trying to rush to the front, yeah. you know, with Travis. Because there was a countdown. There yeah. was a countdown to Travis Scott starting the show. Mm-hmm. So everybody's trying to push up to get to the front row and all that. I think, as I was saying on, on the show, too, I think there has to be, especially during COVID, man. Mm-hmm. And then we talked about earlier how you did it during the COVID times. COVID is still prevalent, you know. Yeah. I don't think that many people should have been there. Yeah. There should be a certain type of system to allow a certain amount of people to be at an event like that. You know, you shouldn't have had, let, let's say it was 50,000, like the number you brought earlier. Nah, bring it down to 25. You know, yeah. bring it down to a number where it's sustainable, where security can handle that many right. people, he especially trying, during COVID. At, at that time, you're looking at the profit of it. Yeah, it's all about money. So it's, it's money. money. It's a money about thing. money. The industry's all about the money. Yeah, man. Don't get me wrong, you know. Everybody's in it for the money. Facts. Regardless That's what we do it for. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, bread. They, yeah, just gotta, they, they just gotta understand you can't let the money control you. Yeah, yeah, that's you control true. the money. Yeah, you can never, you can never. Shout out to Rocky because Rocky brought this up before, man. He told me, listen, one thing you do, and I know Rocky for a long time. Salute him, to my bro yeah. Rocky. He got a birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Rocky! <laughs> we gonna turn up tomorrow, man. Smoke a few cigars, man. Yeah, man. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Rocky, man. He yeah, turned 21 yeah, again. Partner, there you go. There you <laughs> but uh, he brought up the fact. He told me he was like, listen, no matter what you do, no matter how big you get, never let the money control you. Yep. Never forget about your people. And that's one thing. As a genuine brother, as a humble brother, I'm never gonna do, bro. You know, I, I came into this with bread already. You know, money has not. And, I, and I'm pretty successful. Before, do I want more success? Yes. But I've been pretty successful in life. You know, I'm homeowner. Yeah. You know, have have multiple things that I always wanted, like you, man. I like to play. You know, I like to get on my motorcycle and whip, but, you know, I'm not coming in this. Money, yes, it's important, but I'm not coming in this to be money hungry. That's why I show love. Like you, I show love to the people coming in. I gave interviews yeah. to people for free. You know, I've done things for people for free, you know, and, and it's because I'm like that, you know. So, you know, yeah. shouts and salute to both of y'all being a part of this episode. Major Key Podcast yes, on all sir. platforms, Apple Podcasts, yes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Deezer, Pandora, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, the list goes on and on. Shouts to everybody that tuned in on the uh, Top Class Radio app. Shouts to Ladama O in the background, executive manager for PMG LLC. You can follow on Instagram just like that. You can follow It's the Pilot on Instagram. Follow Major Key Podcast on Instagram. Top Class Radio on Instagram and Facebook. I stay promoting. This is what I do. Shouts to Joey Cuts in the building. Yes, you can follow him on Instagram just like that. Uh, Mon Nieves on Facebook. Another episode he did when he was on the last He was on the last episode. If you haven't checked it out, it's on, fa- on, on, on YouTube right now. The 4K episode, man, is on YouTube. Official, official. And it's on the top class radio app, man. I salute and I and I appreciate everybody out there that tunes in and stays tuned in with everything that I do on this side. Uh, shouts to Hook of the Movement. He couldn't be a part of this episode. He was a, at a, a Friendsgiving. That's the new Thanksgiving now. Friendsgiving. Yo, you know what's crazy? I used to do Friendsgiving a lot. Yeah. Like in the last few years before my daughter was born, I used to do Friendsgiving. Okay, shouts to your daughter, Brooke. Yeah, Brookie. That's my daughter. You know what I mean? How old is she now? She's she gonna be seven. Well, I love to everybody to the holidays. Time Yo, goes by. Happy Thanksgiving and anything. The crazy part is that. We used to do Thanksgiving all the time, right? My daughter was born right. on the uh, on the night of Thanksgiving, mm. so we celebrate my daughter's birthday on Thanksgiving. Now. Mm-hmm. So it's like you can't do the Friendsgiving. The Friendsgiving was over. Your daughter right? come first. The new transition started. Right? That's how it is. When you have a family, when you do certain things, you grow up. Yeah. We talked about this yeah. before, man. You grow up, you start doing different things, and to the point of Mozart earlier, what he was saying, you just you can't think like, oh man, this dude don't fuck with me no more. No, I grew up. 
Yeah. Back in the day, we used to chill every all the time. single all the time. day. All the time. Bro, when I tell you every day, every single day. All That's how it was. Yeah. Even though we had shit going on, we had girls and things like that, yeah. and we had jobs and family yeah. and shit, we still chilled there because we were young yeah. enough, but now we grew up. We became different men in a sense. Yeah. You got to grow out of the old mentality and you got to That's the problem. Shit. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people don't understand that, bro, because it's crazy. Because we we've been we've been we known each other for, for fifteen plus years, right? Yeah. And and we haven't. They say we went through a, a, a time that we didn't see each other for like four or five years. Yeah. People think, oh, if I see him, it's gonna be funny. Nah, nah. bro. The love and love is love. And that, that and, doesn't change. And and, 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 and and that was and that was real then. It should be real now. That's love. So that's why me and you that's always real. was connected, no matter what. And, and even though we did lose con connection in the, for a while, but you know, yeah. that's, we had shit going on. It's bro. called life. It's you called life. <laughs> it's called life. It's called life. life. So it's like. Like I said, when, it, when it's real, it's going to be there no matter what. Facts. And one thing about you that I can always say, and Monsai, yo, yeah. anytime I hit y'all up to be a part of an event or a video, both yeah. of y'all been in my videos before you came yeah. through the different events, y'all always yeah. picked up the phone, y'all was always yeah. there, man. So salute to these guys for being a part yeah. of this episode. Yeah. Major yeah. Key Podcast, as I said, on all platforms. I appreciate everybody that tuned in tonight, everybody that tuned in on the app. We do it for y'all. Don't forget, Top Class Radio. It's to the top, ain't no coming down. The Boarding Pass Morning Show will be back live Monday morning. Let down my own. Make sure you check out her show on Sunday at 6 p.m. And also, we're going to do Keto Cooking with Love. You know, they got a couple episodes left on, on that season. Um, that, that usually transmits on Facebook, Keto Cooking with Love, also on YouTube. But I'm going to put them on a radio show like we did this one tonight um, on Sunday at 12 p.m. But they also have another podcast on Mondays at 7 p.m. right here on Top Class Radio. It's to the top, ain't no coming down. It's the pilot. I Appreciate everybody out there. We're gonna do it again one time, man. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's get money, man. Let's stop. I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. Boy. Let's get money. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Y'all better be ready, man. A lot of niggas want the fame. Want the fame, yeah.